Hi guys, welcome to Architects Learnings. This is Vignesh. Hope you are all doing good. In today's video, we are going to see the radial menu. I made the simple algorithm to explain the radial menu. Before we see about radial menu, we will see what is in this algorithm. See in this algorithm, I made the circle, then I move it in Z direction, then I lock the both circles to make the cylinder. Then I rotate that cylinder 90 degree with the middle of the base. As you see in this algorithm, the data flow in the grasshopper always from the left to right. As you see, the circle data flow into move, then loft, then rotate. If you try to connect from right to left, then the algorithm will collapse. As you see in this example, I connected this geometry to that geometry. This made the mess. I just undo the changes by clicking on Ctrl Z. Now we will see about radial menu. You can open the radial menu by middle click on the mouse. You can see there are a lot of options are available. The same options you can find by right click on the canvas. Now Let's see what are the options are available in the radial menu. The first one we will see about hide and unhide. If you see this algorithm, you can see that circle preview and the move circle preview, then the loft preview, then the rotate preview. But really, we need all these previews? No, of course we don't want. We just want the end product, right? So for that we will use hide and unhide options. If you see in this algorithm, the loft, move, circle, those things are not required. So I am going to hide one by one. You can hide the component by clicking on the icon, the man head with closed eyes. As you see, I hide all three things. Now you can see in the preview only the final product. What if you want to see the vertical cylinder instead of horizontal cylinder? Then you have to hide the rotate component and unhide the loft component. Now I am going to unhide all the component to see the next options in the radial menu. So let's see about enable and disable option where this will be used. Let's take this algorithm. In this algorithm, we want to stop flow of data after certain component. Let's say I want to stop the data before loft. So what I have to do? Open the radial menu on the loft command and disable. That's it. If you see, the data is stopped at loft command. In preview also, you can see only two circles. If you want to enable again, just click on that component and enable. That's it. So now let's see about next option, bake. What you see in the Rhino environment is just a preview only. If I close the grasshopper then it will also go so what i have to do to bring the grasshopper geometry to rhino for that we will use bake option if you see once i open the grasshopper the preview also came now which component i want to bring to rhino i have to click on that component and open the radial menu and then just bake it if you see now if I close the grasshopper, you can see the Rhino geometry in the Rhino. This I can select in the Rhino environment. This is just a shortcut. You can bake the component in particular layer also. For that, you can open the grasshopper. I am just deleting the element. Before you bake, you have to create a layer for that in the Rhino. For that, you have to click on the new layer. Then rename it as you want i am making it as a cylinder then right click on the component click on bake it will open attributes tab in that you can select the layer and click ok now if you close the grasshopper you can see the geometry only in the rhino if you turn off the layer then the geometry will also hide so this is how we can use the bake command now we will delete this geometry now let's see the next option in the radial menu zoom so 
if you click on the zoom that component preview will zoom in the rhino this same option we have seen in the previous videos if you remember in the canvas toolbar zoom on preview in that we can find the same option let's see about disable solver and recompute if you see in the rhino it always update the preview instantly when the algorithm is big and complicated this instant preview will affect the performance it will go into not responding mode to tackle this issue we can use disable solver and recompute if you click on the disable solver then the changes will not update instantly you have to manually recompute for that we have to click on the radial menu and recompute then you can see that changes has been updated this options will be very useful when the algorithm is very big so we can now enable solver to auto update that's all about disable solver and recompute now we will see about group and cluster we can group the components by clicking on the group icon in the radial menu once the components are grouped it will appear as a rectangle as you see in the screen you can change the shape by right click on the rectangle and click on the blub outline or rectangular outline you can also change the color of the rectangle by clicking on the color options and change the color you can ungroup the group by right click on the rectangle ungroup that's it this is about group now we will see about cluster cluster is act as a block in this you can make your own component if you see this algorithm the input is these two numbers other than that those things are operation the output is loft now i am selecting the operations and making as a cluster now if you see the input is radius and factor that output is loft this is how cluster work you can change the cluster name by right click on the name rename it as you like i am giving cylinder if you want to edit this component then double click on the name it will open the cluster editor in this you can edit the component as you like then save the changes since i didn't change anything i am just discard changes and say yes so if you don't want the cluster only you want to explore then you can right click on the name and explore cluster other than this there are navigation find and preference now we will see about preference in this you can change display fonts colors widgets those things then there is a navigate if it is a big algorithm then with this tool you can see where you are which command you want to see those things you can easily navigate to any particular point of the algorithm then there is a find tool if you click on the find and type any component name it will show you where it is like you see in the screen the arrow in the end show the direction of the component we have seen all the options in the radial menu so that's all for today guys see you on next video bye